Now here's a great technique working with the blending shear. Have you ever had a guest come in, they like to keep their hair long in the front, but they complain about how their hair keeps dropping into their eye. This is a great technique to control the front face frame area. Simply come through, take a diagonal forward slice, the principles of movement apply, over direct the hair, because we want this hair to move back and away from the face. We simply come through, take the blending shear with the blunt blade on the bottom. Notice the line that I'm placing in, it's diagonal. So it's shorter on top and longer as it gets underneath. That diagonal line will reinforce the hair moving back and away from the face. Blunt blade is placed in on the diagonal, come through, weave it through, close, backstroke, open, close, backstroke, open, close, backstroke. Release that section. Take another slice, over direct. Don't comb this out, that'll enable you to know where you're at. Bring it up and over, diagonal line. Remember where you place a scissor determines on how short that length's gonna be inside the existing length. Weave the blade through, close and backstroke. Now you're probably asking yourself, why backstroke? Take a look at this length here, right here. When I come in and close, watch that hair move. You see how it moved? So I'm closing on the same spot, but it's never the same line. Let's take one more last section. Elevate and over direct. Weave the blunt blade through, close, backstroke, open, close, backstroke. Now watch the length or the weight that we've extracted. We maintain the length. Notice how I'm combing that hair out vertically so as not to pull on that. Now watch this. As I comb this hair through, watch that hair now stay back and move away from the face. Just a great technique to utilize around the perimeter edge to control movement. For example, if I had a one length bob and the client wants to keep the one length, but they want lift up on the top, or they want to run their hands through it and keep it away from their face, take horizontal sections going across the top, weave the blunt blade through, and work it up into the crown area. It'll have the illusion of still looking one length, but when they brush that hair back, it gives them a sense of volume. You're gonna love it using your blending shear. Texture shear backstroke.